Hey, hey, everybody. It is great to have you here. Happy Thursday. It's dreary in Virginia Beach, uh, but hopefully this is something that you'll perk up at. Um, wanting to share some new information that I've learned regarding live streaming and some things about video that you may be interested in. Um, I meant to go live at 3.30, but then I had people here at the house, so I figured that would be kind of rude to go live while people were here. <laughs> so I had to wait for them to leave, and I uh, figured 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time would be a pretty good time to start uh, getting inside this community and saying hello. So. Hello everybody, if you're watching on the replay, it is good to have you here. And so I am talking today about a couple of things. Just wanted to share with you a new tool that I'm using actually for the first time. So I'm not, I'm not exactly saying to go out and get it, but I wanna show you some of the things that it can do in case you are looking for a tool to help you with your live streaming. So I'm actually live streaming into the Get Media Smart Facebook community from my laptop, which not everybody was able to do before, but I'm able to do now. So I'm excited to be able to do that, and everybody should have that capability right now. So if you have a phone, you can go live on Facebook. If you have a desktop or a laptop, that is all possible. So all you do is you look for the More tab underneath your picture and it should give you the option to go live. So that's what I'm doing right now here into the Facebook community. And I'm actually using a plugin, maybe a piece of code is what I would call, to uh, broadcast live on this platform. And I just got it. So I'm sort of reviewing it, sort of testing it out. And I actually really, really like it right now. It's called Ecamm Live, E-C-A-M-M -M Live. And I actually use this, this company for software when I record interviews on Skype. So um, I use Ecamm, the company. They have something called Ecamm Recorder. So it allows me to, when I record Skype interviews for my podcast, it allows me to actually record the screen so I get that side-by-side -side look, and then I can use what I record for my podcast as YouTube videos. So actually, I can show you that in just a little bit. But uh, the reason I was looking at this company is they sent me an email. They said, hey, you're a former customer for the Ecamm recorder side, which again lets me record the screen and get that side-by-side -side look when I'm recording somebody on Skype. We have this brand new video, uh, this brand new um piece of software that we want to share with you. And I'm like, okay, that sounds good. And what it does, it allows some functionality if you are using Facebook Live. In particular, allowing you to do a Facebook Live in your Facebook groups, which you can do anyway with what Facebook has in place. But look at this, it gives you some functionality. So some people have asked me, how can you record your screen, or not record your screen, but how can you switch it so you can show your screen while you're teaching or talking? So this will actually give you that option. Um, it also allows you to drop things on the screen and then pull them off. So if I wanted to keep my logo right here, if you wanted to keep some branding up while you're talking, this is a great option. And you can just uh, have something on your desktop like a, um, uh, it's not a, it's a PNG actually, this is what I have, a PNG and you just kind of slide it over and here it will stay. So you should be able to see my logo uh, right there in the corner of my screen. The other thing that this piece of software can do is it can allow me to show my screen, my very messy screen actually. So um, what it will do is if I've done this correctly, <laughs> and that's what the whole testing part is, is you should be able to see what's on my screen right now. So you can see my messy desktop. You can see I'm in the top left. Uh, feel free to let me know if you see that. And so if I wanted to, I could have a PowerPoint right here. And I can go through slides just as if it was some sort of webinar on Facebook Live. Uh, they didn't have the functionality where you could actually do this in groups but that happened uh, very recently. And so now you can actually pick groups where you want to broadcast into, and not necessarily uh, use your Facebook page or your profile, but actually go into groups that you're in 
and uh, present into those particular communities. So that's one of those things. The other thing that this allows you to do is it allows you to uh, play pre-recorded video, which, uh, you know, if it's live, you may not necessarily want that, but maybe during a presentation, you might want the possibility of playing something pre-recorded to your group. So for example, I'm going to choose a file, and this is one of the I've done uh, recently using Skype. So somebody came in via Skype and then I actually recorded it using Ecamm. Record. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of And there it is. So that is, uh, is an interview I did recently and you can see the video right there. So I mean it kind of gives you some options if you're trying to figure out how you want to use Facebook Live to stream for your company. This kind of gives you a little bit more functionality. It gives you a little bit of um, some options to like put things on the screen, you can put your email address, you can put your website, uh, maybe you can even put some lessons if you're actually just trying to teach something, put that right there on the screen. It, it's actually a pretty neat little piece of code. It's, uh, it's called Ecamm Live and it was under $30. So something to kind of think about as you're figuring out, figuring out your Facebook strategy. So I just wanted to hop on and share that with you. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to let me know. And if there's anything else you'd like to learn regarding video or have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And I wanna leave you with something that I just created. So a lot of people ask me, they say, um, okay, well, I want to start video, but I just don't know what I just don't know what I want to say. So I created something. It's a, a pullout from a live course that I taught, but it's my video formula. It's what I tell people they should focus on if they're interested in creating videos for their business. So it's free. Just go to CherylTanMedia.com forward slash video formula. And you see how I did that? So I pulled it from a PNG that I created on Canva, and I'm pulling it out right there so you can see it. So CherylTanMedia.com forward slash video formula. Great to have you here today. Hope you're having a phenomenal day and a phenomenal end of the week. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next time. Take care.